The member from Windsor West. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Workers at the Canadian Hearing Society are now entering their seventh week off the job. That's seven weeks where people who are deaf or hard of hearing are not getting the support they need to thrive. The result? People like Paul in Sudbury, who had been forced to tell his father that he's going to die, to sign to him that he's going to die, rather than be able to simply hold his hand during his final moments. Speaker, workers at the Canadian Hearing Society are here today, along with allies, fighting to have their work valued. Does the Premier agree that it's time for the employer and the union, through a third party, get these issues dealt with and let these workers get back to serving a vulnerable community? Speaker, thank you, and thank you to the member for that question. Speaker, I, I know the member opposite more than any, uh, more than many in this House. Speaker believes in the collective bargaining process. Right. Speaker, right. and we know if we can get those parties back to the table, using the skilled mediators that we have in the province of Ontario, we can reach an agreement. Speaker, we always do. 99% of the cases uh, of collective bargaining agreements, Speaker, in the province of Ontario are reached out without any lockout, without any strike, without any action at all, Speaker. Speaker, we're encouraging the employers and the unions to get back to the table to resolve their differences, Speaker. It's how it's done in the province of Ontario, Speaker, and it works in the province of Ontario. As I said to a previous answer, Speaker, 99%, almost 99%, Answer. Speaker, almost 99% of a collective agreements are reached without any action, Speaker. Last year, we had 18 work stoppages in the province of Ontario, Speaker. Thank you. But compared that to the average for the NDP, we have about an idea. I'll tell you. Final supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Again to the Premier. While this government constantly passes the puck on their responsibilities to protect workers and vulnerable populations, they have done nothing to rein in executive salaries at taxpayer-funded organizations. The CHS receives more than $20 million for services from the province each year. Unfortunately, a large portion of this has gone to exorbitant wage increases for top executives, including a 75 per cent increase for the CEO in just three years, Shameful. all the while Shameful. frontline staff, many of whom are deaf or hard of hearing themselves, haven't had a wage increase since their contract expired four years ago. I invite the Premier to join me, workers and Question. allies at the rally today to support the workers of the Canadian Hearing Society and recognize the importance of their service to the community. Will the Premier finally give vulnerable Thank populations you. the respect and attention they deserve? Please. Please. Thank you. Minister. Speaker, we've got a very highly skilled mediation team, a conciliation team, Speaker, in the province of Ontario that I think is second to none. It's got a tremendous re record for helping to revolve to uh, to resolve disputes such as this. Speaker, we've been involved with the parties. If you think it's over, it doesn't necessarily mean I can't warn you or name you. Finish, please. Speaker, my job as a Minister of Labour is to be impartial and, and, and uh, to ensure that we're doing everything we possibly can to bring these parties back to the table, Speaker. We don't like strikes. We don't, li we don't like to see lockouts. We don't like to see people not receiving the services. Last year, Speaker, 18 work stoppages. The NDP were in power. <laughs> the member from Windsor West is warned. Hi, Kevin. 139 work stoppages, Speaker. 